There's more weather issues out there. Every county in Oklahoma is under a state of emergency because of flooding. Evacuations are in effect along the Arkansas River with high water straining aging dams and levees. Manuel Pajorquez is in Fort Smith, Arkansas, where the water is reaching historic levels. Manuel, how high is that water and are the levees holding up? Well, good morning around Fort Smith. The levees are holding up for now, but that's not stopping the river from spilling over into neighborhoods like this one. One neighbor you're about to meet, Jason Ball, was nice enough to let us use his boat this morning so we could get closer to homes like that one where you can see the water is close to the roof line. The river is at 40 feet. That is a record and with rain in the forecast, it's only expected to rise. It's a mission against rising waters. National Guard helicopters swooped in yesterday, dropping 5,000 pound sandbags to reinforce strained levees. Some along the river took matters into their own hands, building makeshift barriers around their homes. Floodwaters from the swollen Arkansas River are threatening thousands of people, from Kansas to Louisiana, where the Mississippi River is now beginning to flood. Hundreds of people in Sand Springs, Oklahoma, had to evacuate when the river swallowed parts of that community. And in nearby Tulsa, more than 1.2 million people are being warned that water released from nearby Keystone Dam could threaten levees built in the 1940s. Here in Fort Smith, the levees are holding up for now, but waters are creeping into neighborhoods. Like this one in Riverland Terrace, which can only be accessed by boat. All the houses that are in the neighborhood are pretty much have water in them. Jason Baugh's home is safe on higher ground, so he's using his boat to help neighbors. What's been the reaction from people that you're helping? They've asked, could I take them in the boat and see their house? And um, we've offered, you know, storage at our house. Bill Walker has lived here about 35 years. Yes, this is the highest it's ever been. He hired contractors to build a wall to try and keep the creeping floodwaters at bay. How are you feeling just watching this water come up? Well, it's a bad feeling, but there's, you know, thousands of people just like my wife and I up and down the Arkansas River that are, you know, they've already had to evacuate, so our prayers go out for them. The river is expected to crest today, but it's not expected to go down significantly for several days and not expected to return to its normal level, possibly for several weeks. So this contaminated water with hazards like poisonous snakes, is going to be around for a while. Gail. Boy, thank you again to Jason Ball for letting you use the boat. It came in very handy for you today, Manuel. Thank you so much.